Okay, so today is going to be a bit of an easier day. I don't really have, I'm not really in the right mindset to do a lot of heavy work, but if I recall correctly, I've got a whole bunch of warnings, comp compilation warnings that have been building up over time. So it'd probably be a good idea to turn on all warnings and just start going through and fixing them all up. Check that off. Maybe that one. Well, I'll do CPP check after. I'll just do the regular compiler warnings first on Clang, I presume is what I got. So let's have at it. Warning Palooza. Okay, now we make. I'm um, not, of course, going to be dealing with external libraries such as the Vulkan memory allocator and such. Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's not as much as I was ex. I thought there were a lot more. Unless I did a really good job in this area. Okay, maybe I was just completely and utter, utterly mistaken as to. Uh, sorry. Code coverage off. Your mode, sure. Let's be checked, blah, blah, blah. Oh, did I not? <clears throat> okay. Whoops. Let's do it again. Mm -hmm. uh, memory allocator, not my business. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got some things to do here. So what's this about? Render pass pool unused parameter attachments. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, maybe I was going to use it for something, but I'm not actually using it for anything, so I'll take that out. Uh, which one's this? This is a private one, it looks like. Uh, probably this one here. Oh, right, yeah. Somewhere. Be some locations like those. Then we'll have another one just down here somewhere. Or what have we got? We got this, which I uh, have a whole bunch of things I don't even use. So I'm going to just kind of block them out like that. One, two, and three. So that at least the warnings are silenced, but you still know what it's supposed to be, so you can re-enable it later. Because this is a specific form that's expected from Vulcan. Mm, then we get down to this stuff. So what we got? Create failed. Unused label. Yeah, that's true. Um, this doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm.
Okay, yeah, that's that's true. Either way, so this needs to be or let's see how many res locations do we have? We have a number. Okay, let's get rid of um, result instead. Just replace it with error code. We can do that. Wait, does this function actually return? It does. Okay. Okay, we did that. Remove unused items. This is the render for that, the render for that, okay. Let's open that. We have full on GUI. We're gonna change this to be standard error code because I can. System error, send it to error code. Before we send anything here. Both of these will be that. We can instead reverse this. Okay, going, uh, switching back to renderer. Need to include that to automatically convert. Mm -hmm. Uh, make sure it's that type. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Convert. Okay, we'll have some locations this. Mm-hmm. That can stay. It's just the one it's just the public facing ones that I care about. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, make sure that that altogether isn't quite gonna fit properly, but uh done an application, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
right here. Error code and program. Is that the only one? that six, so I need two of them. Specialized value. Next. Hmm. Let's speed this up. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, what's going on with this VK value serialization? This is okay. Okay. This is something that's external. I'll do that later. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we got going on here? Be initialized after field. Okay. Incorrect ordering. Which order is this supposed to be? Is that it? Okay. And we've got int and const size t. Okay. Seem to be back in the territory of things with warnings. Mm, some more different types. Vertices count is a UN32. This is an int. Okay. This is brought from that type. I'm bringing it into a UN32. Do this. Okay. Subpass so isn't even used. Okay. It should be under something. Okay, somewhere the render pass will be used. So it'll be way down here. 
So pass equals a. Uh. Okay, it must be crazy. How big is this function? No, no. Yes, here it is. I'm gooey. Okay, and then the rest of these are just generic issues again. Okay, what we got going on here? This is callback thing, so I'm not using this. I don't want to remove it because it's part of the spec, the function. That this uh, function is supposed to be this uh, format parameter set. Okay, destroy, uh, define this struct here, but may result in linker errors under Microsoft C++ ABI. You are correct about that because down here it's being used as a class. So I'll change this to be a struct. Actually, that's a warning I should probably almost always have. I keep running into that issue on uh, Windows builds. Whoops, we got another thing. So what's this? Vector of int compared to um, size type. Mm. Weights pervert to okay. Num vertices, okay. And each of these is an unsigned int. So really, I should be returning that. That would be the same here. That would fix that one, consequently. And then this one, size, it would be size t times max weights, which is what? Okay. Uh, do I want to use you in thirty? Uh, no, you know what? Always be specific as if possible. So it's. See what we got. Hmm? Mm, but these are all working in unsigned in, so I guess I'll just leave it like that. Moving on. Hmm. Unused parameter, okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, that makes sense. This is a struct class thing again, isn't it? What is this? It is considered a struct, so every time it's there, it should be like that. Then this should be struct that should be a struct okay bunch of unused items Ooh, private field Interesting. Is it always on the same one? There we go. I just never used it. Ever. Hmm. I must use it in here somewhere, right? No, I just never use it at all. Okay. Odd. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going a bit too fast there. will be initialized after that, okay. not be used here, but it's used elsewhere. Hmm. No, I'm not going to remove this one yet. This is still probably going to be going through some work. Why do I include it if I'm not using it? I do not know. So that means that we'll need to go back to here and move that.
Oops. Must have removed it without clearing things out properly. P translator. Hmm. P create info. Okay, you know what? I'm not entirely sure about the this material thing that I just did. Not at all sure about it. So re revert those two. Come back to that later. Got the struct class thing again. This does nothing. Okay. okay there we go. Unused label. Yeah, it's just used literally the next line, so that's fine. Traces around. Okay. There's no waiting semaphores or anything here, I guess. We just go straight for it. I mean, it is all one thing, I suppose. Okay, uh, 1176. Right about here. So this will be like, what, size T. Should fix the different, yeah. 1198, now it's fixed. I'm not sure about the sub-object thing that's going on about here. Another one of these, okay. All right for XR and the ones for the regular one. Transform is just not even used.
Mm-hmm. Oh, it's uint 32t. No, uint 32t. This isn't even used, apparently. I guess I just... Mm, all right. Oh, I used to get it directly here, then pass it in, but I just do that now. There, in line. Okay. Half an hour of small fixes. How boring. Unused variable. Okay. This is something else entirely, isn't it? I'm not really too bothered about the tests. Indexing everything, okay, make clean, and we'll just rerun make for any <clears throat> items I've missed here, and then we'll, uh, I don't care about VK memo alloc, then we'll go to the Windows side, see what's going on on that side. See if there's a, uh, Anything I can do over there. I do remember... What did I start? I started this because there were visibility issues back in the day. Which were causing a, like a real slowdown on memory. Hold on. Am I build oh, I'm bu crap, I'm building static libraries too, aren't I? That's also why it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. And i got to fix that in the VK... Serialization. So that's static. We'll do shared libraries in a moment. Okay, white space differences. These are mem alloc, right? Yeah, all of them. Then that's external as well. In the info, the create info, translator, um, letting these one these ones go. Mm, and these ones as well. Unused variable it iterator because of this. I mean, it's not used right now. It'd be, yeah, it's if it was still attached to the camera, which it's not. Okay, we can clear that out, actually, then. Okay. We'll do this, we'll just format everything again. Okay, I gotta go back like f five instead. Let's 
Squash and squash. Mm -hmm. Incoming, okay. Incoming, okay. Okay, just like accept all incoming. Does this work? Showing me a lot of errors. Mm hmm. Undeclared something or other. Abort. Alarm. You rebase five. Okay, we're just gonna. Squash, squash, squash. We're just gonna. Do, 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 do. Unsigned comparisons. Okay, now we're done with that. Now we can shared builds. Go, go, go. Let's see what's different. What's going to go? What's going to happen this time? Mm -hmm. Uh, nope, that's the one I was expecting. I'm looking for anything that's dealing with the weird export, unexport kind of macros. But I may have gotten rid of almost all of them when I did the resource refactor in the first place. Maybe so. Okay, I'm going to put this up and I'm going to open up the Windows VM. Give me a moment. All right, and here we are. Ah, Ninja SJ1. Let's see what we get. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Uh, this file, line 29, we've got what? Throwing the following types will not be considered at the catch site. Exception, this cl base class is inaccessible. Mm -hmm. C4673.
The throw object cannot be handled in the catch block. Each type that cannot be handled is listed in the error output immediately following the line containing this warning. Each unhandled type has its own warning. Um, oh, it's because it's not handled here? Because it's supposed to be handled in the outside. Okay. All right. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. So the idea is, this is a warning basically saying this is not being caught in this block because I'm expecting like there to be like an if a try catch out, you know, that's outside of here. Like this is inside a try catch block itself. So that's why th these warnings are coming up. So that's not really a great warning to have because it doesn't really apply, but okay. Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, swap chain CPP. Let's do this deliberately. Okay. Yeah, that, that shuts us up. Mm -hmm. uh, potentially uninitialized items. Okay, we got. An argument, which is again, which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, this hides previous ones. We don't actually need to hide it. Potentially uninitialized variable. What? Graphics upload request? It's here. Okay. Argument conversion from size T, so which one's a size T? I must have like a size, it's probably this one, right? This is, I don't even have, yeah, okay. Let me install that real quick. Okay, uh, it's better. Okay, we're looking at, uh, it's a copy region count. So that's the one that's con that it's going on about, so. Okay, let's see what we got going on now. There, uh, good, good, good. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, D ninety twenty five. The option one was specified, but then overridden by option two. Option two was used. Okay, yeah, that that's. Thanks for letting me know. I guess. Hmm. A lot of things on this one. So let's see where we start. Argument conversion from that to that. So it's probably one of these things again. So I'm expecting a count of that. Expecting the same thing here, yep. Mm -hmm. We got an X 
extra auto error code, which we don't want to override. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's less. Still got a problem with this one. So we've got a problem with PCI here being overriding a previous something here. Okay, we got if. Is it just like because it's a uh, in an else if? It doesn't quite seem to be able to read the fact that it, it's. Yeah, I guess Visual Studio doesn't quite understand the fact that this is properly scoped to within the if area. Okay, well, not much I can do about that. PCI. Imagine this is the same thing again. of error code and this one is indeed another same dealio here Potentially unknown mesh index, okay. This one actually doesn't matter. Hmm, unless it does. change that up if that
Then, okay. Okay, these are the ones I'm expecting. Mm, same thing again, same things again. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm, okay, here we go. This is something different. Line 82. Initializing. Hold on. Conversion from double to UN32. What? Hold on, what's uh, 98? Win 32 from BK device size. BK device size, okay, we can change that up. So 82 is a real thing, but I'm not entirely sure Line 188. That's another one of these. We've got to go to model. Line 145. Another one of these. One nine two. Okay, I'm not. Conversion from double to UN32, possible loss of data, okay. But I'm giving UINT, I'm giving a UINT, I'm giving a UINT. Why on earth is standard power think it's a double? I, whatever. I'm expecting the same thing again, yeah, okay. Uh, what else we got? We got the VK device size. Thirty three, yeah, those ones. Whoa. Oh, yeah, main application. A lot of little things. Okay, error code hiding stuff. Yeah, okay. Double the float. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really too concerned about these ones.
Hmm. It's a potentially unused uh, one. Not too bothered about those. Same deal, same deal. Okay. Same thing here. Hmm. Okay, that's something I'm going to have to live with for now. There we go, size T thing. Whoop. Hmm. Okay, uh, again, VK MML lock. Don't really. Not too bothered about it. What's this? Size T to U N thirty two. So that's this whole thing, right? Okay, now it's U N thirty two. So that's U N thirty two. Then this is. Also. We've got signed, unsigned mismatches. This one, we've got a
Is it all like faux group ID? Do I not have like invalid? Uh, oh, okay. I guess I don't. Okay, so that makes a little bit of sense then. Need that. Declaration of node hides function parameter. Hmm, not really, that's not really my business. But these down here, struct parsing, are. Hold on, is this? This is auto generated, uh, which means I probably want to change it up in here. Struct mm -hmm. parsing. What am I looking for exactly? Binding count. Equals, oh, here we go, this. Equals static cast of that. I'll have to switch back to um, uh, Unix to s fix that up. But in the meantime, Truck parsing, same thing again. E 
dot message on the Nycosphere. Mm. Okay, well, I'm I'm going to be going back over Icosphere soon, anyways. Uh, e dot message. Same thing here. Double the float. Blah 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 blah. Inish. Visualization this size problems again. Well, not problems, just annoyances. Okay, whatever. C string. What did I add to this? What? What string? Okay. Not all control paths return a vac. Okay, yeah. Mm. Non standard name. Okay, that's GLM. I'm not touching that. Hmm. He went 16. That's a deliberate thing. I'll keep that one. If const expression. Oh, that's uh, bullet again. The bullet stuff. Throwing exception. Bullets. Okay.
string and copy yeah that's fine So it's just linking errors from YAML and bullet and stuff. Okay. Dynamic release doesn't match MD debug. Okay, bullet has what? It just can't find a PDB, so that's fine with me. And libyaml needs to be rebuilt in debug, I guess. Otherwise, we'll just put what we have here. Let's see if we can do ninja format on this one. Mm, don't quite seem to have format around here. And I got to configure it on the new system. All right. Okay. Uh, formatted, forced push. Uh, once that passes, I'll just basically merge it in. Well, I'll just leave it for the moment. Hit branch. What have I got? XR, yeah, resource refactor, yeah, render targets, yeah, those are done. Hmm, 21. All right, and once it's done and passed CI, I'll put that in and call it enough for this session. It's a real quick session. Put it on the alternate or uh, the miscellaneous playlist, yeah. All right, cheers.